So in this video, we're going to talk about Adam and Eve, Carl Jung and the subconscious shadow, and genetics. So to begin, Adam and Eve is a story from the Bible. We don't have to believe in the Christian religion to learn something about the story of Adam and Eve. This is a story about how humans fell from the Garden of e Eden. Essentially, they fell from oneness, from connection with the universe. And so Adam and Eve ate the fruit, the forbidden fruit, and then they tried to lie to God about it. Really, they just lied to themselves because God is all seeing and omnipotent. And so God knew, saw that they ate the fruit, saw that they were lying. And so in their shame, they covered themselves with the leaf and trying to hide part of themselves from God, from the external surroundings, effectively disconnecting themselves from the one. They were now viewed as separate individuals instead of part of the one through trying to hide themselves. It's the game of hide and seek. So everything that we hide is a lie. We need to be honest if we want to see clearly. Every time we lie, we're creating different realities. So you lie to someone and you have to carry on this lie. And the more lies you have, it's like a schizophrenic reality where you're trying to perpetuate the lies that you told and you're living multiple lives. You have multiple personalities where you're trying to keep up all these stories and deep down you realize that there is one true story or there are way less stories because maybe we can never escape the lies. Everything is a combination of lies and truth. People who say that they're not lying, that they never lie, they're lying about that because we all do a combination of lie and tell the truth. We are all dual beings. We are all good and bad, beautiful and ugly. We are all dark and light. This is just the nature of reality. And so Adam and Eve tried to hide the dark side through lies. And so when we try and hide ourselves from the negative aspects of reality, which are part of the reality, I spoke in another video about curse words, about how they are words that represent things that we try to hide in the society. So like fuck, shit, cock, piss, cunt, all these things. It's things that people don't want to see publicly, don't want to hear about, but we know that we all have genitals. We know that we all need to go to the bathroom. And since people have children, I'm pretty sure they're fucking. All right. And so we are 100% aware that we are all good and bad, that we all do these things that no one wants to see, no one wants to hear about. And then we try and act like we just never, we never do them. And so this creates something that is called the subconscious shadow, which Carl Jung spoke about. Carl Jung was a contemporary of Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Freud's thesis was that we are controlled by our primal instincts, whereas Carl Jung's thesis was that we are a product of our surroundings, which I feel allows us to go much more profoundly into our introspection, into looking at ourselves and seeing what this reality actually is. We are a product of our surroundings. And so Carl Jung spoke about the subconscious shadow saying that humans have this tendency to not want to accept all of the negative aspects of their being. Even though these negative aspects are there all the time, they want to say that they are not the bad, they are only the good. They only want to hear about the good, they don't want to hear about the bad, but really they're both. And so through trying to hide themselves from the shadow, from the negative aspects, this shadow ends up controlling them. And so someone who thinks that they are super good ends up being a very bad person in a lot of ways because they're not able to see the bad that they're doing, the bad that they're creating because it hurts them. They don't want to believe that they are dual. And so we're going to talk about the product of surroundings being a product of your surroundings in terms of genetics. In our society, people talk about genetics a lot. They say cancer, diabetes, this illness runs in my family. It's genetic, it's genetic. And so I can't do anything about it. And so that's just how it is. But really, they've talked about epigenetics recently, where epigenetics says that if you change the surroundings of a person who has a pre-genetic disposition to 
a predisposition genetically to cancer or diabetes or whatever it is, you change the food that they eat, you change where they live, and all of a sudden, this does this predisposition does not affect them. They're not going to get cancer. They're not going to get diabetes. They're not going to their illness isn't going to get worse. And so what it's showing us is that really genetics is something that people use as an, as an excuse to keep them locked into their behavioral patterns. And so in their family, cancer doesn't, cancer isn't the thing that is genetic. It's the fact that they drink soft drinks and watch TV and eat junk food and probably use chemical products on their skin all over their body, uh, use chemical shampoos, use chemicals all over painting walls who knows hairsprays things like this so all these things are chemical they're not natural and since we're natural beings that came from this earth when there is too much imbalance of artificial versus natural we get sick we start to develop illnesses which can be viewed as disease and really these diseases can be reversed they can be avoided by changing our surroundings and so we need to be conscious of this that we can, we are responsible for our health. What we eat matters, what we consume matters, where we are, the people we're around, what we do in a day. Are you walking in the forest or even doing any exercise or are you just sitting there watching TV, eating junk food, packaged foods from big industries? This is something that we can take responsibility for if we'd like or if we're comfortable with our lies that we aren't responsible for our health all of these things that the big industry uses to control us so that we become patients of the pharmaceutical industry and essentially slaves in this world, then that's, we're making ourselves the victims. What can we do about it? I could talk about so many more things and I will talk about more things, but as far as this video goes, this will be the end of it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good afternoon.